Hello, this is Peter Combs from Vidamont.com, and today is Friday, April 28, 2017. This is the second video we've done today. In case you didn't notice, uh, we did a, we did one earlier uh, that we put up uh, regarding the Asia Week auctions that are coming up, and we, we talked in particular about the two sales that Sotheby's has going. And if you haven't seen it, take a look. We're trying a new format for doing those kinds of uh, videos. I'd be really curious to see what you think of it. It's uh, something we thought we wanted to try, and we did. So they're there. So let's get over to the auctions. Um, this was on eBay last week. There were two of these paintings. These were really nice uh, 18th century watercolor, uh, pen and ink with colors, paintings. It was this one and this one. They were put up by the same seller. I thought they were extremely attractive, nice early drawings. And uh, I suspect they went to the same buyer. They bought almost exactly the same price, $1,000 uh, within 10 bucks for both. Uh, but beautiful little sil on silk paintings, uh, very classical. Uh, the artwork is very reminiscent of what you see on, on uh, 18th century Peking enamels as well. Uh, very attractive, nicely done. And uh, we, there was this. This was an exceptional thing. I want to show you this in case you missed it. This was a beautiful, probably 18th or early 19th century mirror that uh, Juice, uh, seller Juice 1499, Chamberlain Antiques had up. A really lovely example, gilt bronze with all the uh, Buddha symbols all around it. Uh, and uh, the front of it uh, looks like this. It was inlaid with coral, turquoise, and so forth. Just an exceptional uh, mirror. And uh, it did very well. It brought $10,000 exactly. Uh, he had a nice sale and uh, got a very good result. He had this up and he had this. This was that, that big Satsuma vase that I mentioned last week. because I, I liked it because it was so big. It's by Kinkozan. And uh, it had one drawback. It had been drilled. It had a rather significant hole in the bottom. But the size was such that it, did, it didn't hold it back much. And it did very well. There's the bottom right through Kinkozan's signature on one side. Too bad. But uh, it brought $7,100 with the hole. Um, there's always a market for good kinkos on things. This was a very nice one, and uh, there's a detail of it. The work on this was really excellent. It was loaded with samurai, uh, pursuing various activities. Just beautiful quality, nice deep cobalt blue, and, and the gilding all appeared to be in wonderful condition. And uh, it brought a good price, good, brought a good price. And the other Japanese, we're getting a few Japanese things are starting to get some action. And this was put up by Takuri, he's a, a seller we know down in North Carolina, had this up. Nice piece of um, uh, uh, porcelain, beautiful quality. Let me see if I can get another picture of it here. There, there it is, the bottom of it. It's Nabashima. Excellent quality, nice high foot on it, well rounded, uh, very finely glazed, as, 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 as the good Nabashima always is. There's a nice profile of it, nice strong sides, beautiful decoration. And uh, it did fine. It brought $555, which uh, for uh, Nabashimi these days is pretty good. I, I think that there's a bit of a market starting to develop for Japanese wares. Japanese collectors have had a wonderful time the last 20 years. They've been able to buy things uh, for about 80% below what the market had been uh, before Japan's economy tanked on them. And uh, then we had this. This was uh, my friend Kenny, uh, Eclectic Mix for You, had this up. Uh, a really nice uh, crackle glaze, probably 18th century uh, incense burner with archaic relief repeats all the way around it. This was a very, very nice piece. Uh, I liked it. He actually he had sent me a picture of this before he put it up. Just a nice example all around. It has minor condition issues, some crackles and whatnot, but um, just a handsome piece and a good size. There's a picture of the interior. It's got an old tag on the bottom. And there it is, minor bits of glaze loss here and there. But a good, handsome example. And uh, brought $1,333, which is, a, which is which is a good price for that. It was a nice, nice example. Good going. And then there was this, this rather unusual spherical um, and reticulated uh, uh, incense burner with a foo line on top. A nice, very, very attractive piece with these scroll legs fitted onto this uh, stand. I suspect the stand is later. It was meant to go with it. There's a shot of the bottom. There's the interior. A lot of wear in there. And a uh, very handsome uh, incense burner. It went for $567. Uh, I like that. I, I, I have one similar myself at home that actually has gilding on it. Um, and then there was this. This, is, this was an interesting thing. This was a nice little Kesey strip. 
And uh, the seller for this is a, a local thrift store here in Gloucester, Second Glance Exchange. Um, they've got 38 feedbacks on eBay. They only put things up when they think that they're, they're going to do pretty well. Uh, a couple of months ago, they had a pair, you may remember, a very attractive pair of Islamic market-looking uh, Peking enamel uh, ewers, wine ewers, uh, that they came through here. These may have come from the same donor. All these things are donated. And uh, this, this, this Kesey panel is pretty, very pretty, good, strong colors. It did well. It brought $990. And uh, that exchange is a wonderful uh, uh, charity program. They give the money uh, to a couple of extremely deserving causes. Um, and then uh, this, this was something that Grand Pip 7 had up. He had several of these Kung Shi vases up. This was, I like the shape of this one. I like pear-shaped vases. And uh, this was nice, nice, nicely done with a f slightly flared mouth and uh, a little bit of work there on the f uh, foot, how it flares out and curls under. I liked it. And uh, I put it in the letter. And uh, this is the guy that uses the Coke cans I'm always talking about. And I, I'm going to send him a nice empty wine bottle to put in his pictures, I think. Uh, anyway, this one did pretty well for a small piece of Kung Shi. This isn't, you know, really high-end decoration, but it's folky, and I happen to like it. And uh, then we have the uh, price on that was $500 on the nose. And then next up was this. This was a, a probably a jade stand that 77 Pud got. A uh, beautiful piece of cloisonne with a wave, wave, uh, wave base and with the uh, waves, the foam of the waves all done in gilt bronze. Extremely attractive, nice old piece. Here's a picture of the bottom. Looks to be like a 19th century example, early to mid 19th century, but really excellent quality. And uh, it brought uh, a very good price. Uh, it brought $7,300, but uh, I think well worth it. Uh, I would love to know what the jade looked like that uh, what sat on that. And then we have th this piece is uh, coming up. It closes. Um, on Sunday, this is a, a seller we know in Italy, uh, clay and brush. He gets some nice things. He has a good eye. This is a nice ghee type bowl um, that will be in the newsletter this weekend. I think we had some of it in there last week. This is a good old bowl, nice looking glaze on it, uh, 18th, early 19th century, really good quality. Uh, there it is, double crackle, the black and the gold thread crackle, uh, really nice. and. Um, and he says probably Chen Lung. I, I don't. I don't want. I wouldn't disagree with him on it. It's a good quality piece. And uh, this is closing on. Uh, when does this close? This closes on Sunday. It's a very large screen, uh, nice table screen with inscription, wood stand, uh, Femi Ver enamels. Uh, very very pretty. Nice big one. Screens have been doing really well lately, and uh, this one's getting up there. It ends in a couple of days, and it's up to thirteen hundred and eighty-two dollars. Uh, from Roadhouse Antiques, the Roundhouse Antiques. This is the first time we've come across their stuff. So uh, we'll see how it does for them. And uh, we, there's other things that will be in the newsletter this week. These are just some of the things that are uh, currently available. This closes on Monday. It's a nice Chinese Kisi uh, rank badge with a phoenix on it. Uh, very classic form, but very clean. This, this thing, uh, uh, a lot of times these can get a little ratty looking. Um, this one isn't. Uh, it's good, nice, nice condition. The colors are still good. Chinese silk, as you know, um, uh, tend to uh, fade, whatnot. This one hasn't faded. It doesn't look like it faded hardly at all. That red is still nice and strong, and uh, it should do pretty well. It's up to $167. It ends Monday. Could do a good bit better, I think. And uh, getting over here, here's the, uh, just so if, you, if you're wondering about the other video, uh, on our uh, dealers and auctioneers page, we added uh, the two catalogs that are coming up for Asia Week, and there's the video we did today that goes with it. Uh, take a look at it. They, there's some re really amazing stuff. They have a copper red bowl that's out of this world. Um, it, it, it's just absolutely amazing. And I would like if, if some if some of you out there who get the, who go to the newsletter every week and have subscribed. You may have noticed that we've been playing around with the format lately. We're trying to figure out ways uh, to uh, be able to fit more things onto the page because there seem to be more and more things that we're finding. And uh, we've, we're trying this new format. Uh, it's much easier for us to upload. It uh, saves us a lot of steps and gives us more time when we're not doing our regular business to uh, 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 add things. Uh, but because we have to go through every, everything you see in that newsletter, we pan pick. 
This is not a, we don't have a computer program that just loads the pages for us. This is every piece on here we've looked at, talked about, thought about, and included um, in here each week. And it's a lot of work. So we're trying to find ways to do it better. Um, and that's it. Uh, I hope you have a great week. And uh, take a check out that Sotheby's sale. There's some really beautiful things on there. And catalogs are well written. And we'll, we'll probably, we're going to try and get to uh, the Christie sales and the Bonham sales uh, uh, and separate videos for them in the next uh in the next week, hopefully. All right. Everybody have a great weekend and uh, see you all next time. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.